Hello and welcome to another episode of Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast. I am Rem and I am Kuya Dev. Software development cycle. Ang daming factors na nakaka-influence sa success or failure ng isang software development project. Pero ano sa tingin nyo yung pinaka mahalaga na factor or ingredient sa pagbuo ng software? Is it the skills of the developer or developers? The way the project is being managed by uh, the team leader or the project managers? or even product manage- managers? Is it how agile the, the processes are? Or is it even the processes itself, whether agile or other methodology? Personally, sa tingin ko, it all comes down to context. Pero, bago ko i- bago ko i- explain kung bakit context sa tingin ko, let's, let's, let me just discuss what context is. So, context, in simple terms, is the why. The why of a task or of a project. Ito yung kung bakit mo ginagawa ay isang bagay or kung bakit nyo binubuo ang isang product. So, whether it's a new feature, the context behind that is why the, 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 the feature is being built. At kung ano yung intended na outcome. Ano ba talaga yung goal ng feature na yon? So that's the context. You know? The why and the outcome. Kung paano siya gagawin, the how, at kung ano yung bubuin, the what, hindi na masyadong Hindi siya kasama dun sa context although it's part of it is it's 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 a uh, uh, a product of the context but it's not the context the context is the why and the outcome the result yung intended the result ng gagawin niya so let me give you an example Say the 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 product manager um sinabi ng product product manager na kailangan yung buuin ang isang button o oh, mag-create ng isang button na kulay blue dun sa page So what's the context behind that Kasi we want, uh, sabi ng project, product, product manager, manager na they want to have that button as a call to action para may, may i-click yung user na magdi-direct sa kanya sa sign-up page. You know? So, the context behind that is the, uh, the, the product manager or the, the 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 company itself wants something on that page that could direct the user to the sign up page so yung sinabi niya na button is just the what but the context behind it is you know kailangan nga magdirect ng traffic from that page to the sign up page and the outcome na gusto or the outcome of that feature 
is to direct users from that page successfully into the sign-up page. So I hope Medyo gets, but that's what context is. So now, why do I think na yun ang pinaka malagang building block ng software development cycle? Sa tingin ko kasi, kailangan ng developer ng proper context para ma-perform niya yung feature or ma-create niya yung feature or ma-buo niya yung feature at magawa niya ng tra yung trabaho niya ng tama and as intended based on the requirements of that feature. Napag-aaralan sa communication subjects yan eh, na diba, may, may, there's a message that's being transmitted from the messenger or the sender of the message to the receiver. So that message from the sender ng message can ano, can be can be you know um, uh, how do you call this um, translated or uh, understood in a different way by the receiver which was which is different from the intention of the sender so in terms of the software development cycle may may vision yung yung kusino yung nagpropose nung nung feature may vision siya kung ano dapat yung kalabasan ng feature. Kung ano yung magiging mukha niya, ano yung magiging purpose niya, and yun nga, yung pinakamalaga, yung outcome. Kung makukuha ba yung outcome. But, as we all know, sa mga uh, veterans na sa software development, that often is not the case. Parang nangyayari, from the product manager and from project managers, even from team leaders, pagka, pagka sinabi yan, pinagawa, pagka pinagawa yung task dun sa mga developers, usually, kung ano yung in-expect nung nag-propose, hindi yun yung kinakalabasan. Parang, minsan, malayo, Sobrang layo nung, nung, nung requirements and expectations dun sa actual product. Or, medyo malapit but may slight differences pa rin. Hindi siya yung talagang na-envision na, na nung nag-propose nung, nung feature. And that's where context comes in. Kasi pagka walang proper context na naibigay na, na dun sa developer, magkakaroon siya ng sarili niyang assumptions eh. And that's normal. Pagka may pinagawa sa yung task, syempre may assumptions ka ng anong ina-expect nung na naguto sa'yo, di ba? O nagbigay sa'yo ng task. Sabi mo, maybe, binigay sa'yo, gawa ka ng button na ganito, na yun nga, na Basta, gawa ka lang, pa, pa, ma, you know, take for example, binigay, binigay sa'yo yung task ng paggawa ng button doon sa isang page. Sabi sa'yo, gawa ka ng button dyan. Without telling you why, and you just accepted it as is, so, bubu ka lang ng button without, you know, knowing na kailangan siya for sign up. Medyo contrived yung, yung example ko, but, you know, humor me. Para lang maging simple yung discussion natin. So pag uh, bigay sa'yo ng task to create a button without knowing what that button is for, you just, ang dali lang eh, button lang eh. Then you, you, you yourself as a developer, uh, without proper context, you, maybe you, uh, 
allow yourself creative creative freedom. Kinalaya mo ng ganyan, nilakihan mo. Binigyan mo na font according to your taste. But pag bigay mo nung nung feature, pag papa pag pag uh, latag mo ng feature dun sa dun sa nagpropose, it's way off dun sa expectations niya kasi hindi mo naman alam yung expectations niya eh. Wala ka nung context na yun eh. The why and the outcome. So kung na-relay sa'yo nung nung superior mo or even the, propose, the, the proposer na ganito dapat siya. Yung button na yan, ganito dapat yung kulay. Kulay sabi natin green, some shade of green para madaling makita and it it should be about you know 50 pixels height and it, it should have this text sign up and it should be placed somewhere prominent tapos tatanungin mo bakit bakit ganoon bakit ba, bakit bakit ganoon ang ang kailangan niyo bakit uh, sa, 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 sa tingin ko dapat blue yan eh tapos, dapat dito yung sa baba eh. But if they tell you that it's for it's to uh, get people or users to be redirected to our sign up page then as a developer ah uh, okay, okay. You get the reason why the reason behind the, 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 the feature and you go yeah, okay yan. Oh, uh I have suggestions to make it more effective dun sa gusto natin ma-achieve. And that's when the conversation starts. And that's when you can have a back and forth with the team leader or the proposer. Na, you know, to, to improve the feature. Even, even before you write or you 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 start writing the first line of code i hope i'm making sense here but you know that's that's very crucial in software development kasi yung back and forth or yung banter between the dev that will execute the feature or will develop the feature and the one who proposed the feature kasi may, may mga nangyayaring nangyayaring instances na oo na may feature na pre propose and it turns out that that feature isn't suited dun sa why like sige sabihin natin uh the why is to get people to be re- redirected to the sign up page but the proposal na binigay is suited for a login page may mga nangyayaring ganun again a contrived example but uh for the sake of discussion may mga ganun scenario eh na hindi nakikita ng proposer Nung, nag, nung, nung nag-propose or initially hindi niya kita na mali yung or may 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 may, may gap or may may kulang dun sa nasa proposal niya o sa feature niya na naiisip to address yung why and you only get that that uh, that fine tuning and the uh, improvement dun sa dun sa idea through talking with you know other t- stake- stakeholders dun sa feature especially dun sa devs na mag uh, implement niyan kasi pwede ring uh, sabihin ng dev na medyo mahirap yan like it would take a few weeks na but we can I, I can find a way or we can find a way to shorten it into you know two days but we will have to make uh, sacrifices here and there. Are you amenable to that? Yung mga ganong, ganong conversations by just giving that developer 
enough context. The mo the 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 the, the, great, uh, the 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 more context, the better. No, about that feature. But on the other hand, there is also such a thing na sobra sobrang context. What I mean is, for a single feature, okay lang yan, na mara talagang all out na context sa may ibigay mo dyan. But, of course, you can, you can, there's a, there's a instances na medyo na overdo siya, na parang nagiging analysis paralysis na, but you know, that's another thing. But what I'm talking about is having multiple contexts. Meaning, maraming feature na pinapagawa kay developer. And that's very bad. Kasi, it's very hard to switch from one context to another. Mahirap yan. And non-tech people need to understand that. Na if you give a developer multiple tasks to 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 perform for example in a, in a particular sprint na maraming features yan na pinapagawa na sabay-sabay lalo na kung yung mga feature na yan is can span multiple multiple sprints may hirapan si developer and it creates or it it uh it causes the development cycle to long to long to be longer mas mas humahaba kasi may may parang ano yan eh kumbaga sa sa PlayStation di ba parang nagpalit ka ng game nilo-load yan di ba ilo-load niya lahat ng ng artifacts and uh, game data before ka makapaglaro it's the same with developers parang you know, Every time na mag-switch ka ng game or mag-switch ka ng feature, you have to load all that context again. Tapos pagkalilipat ka na naman ng another feature, you have to unload that the, the previous uh, context and load up the context for this particular feature. And if you do that, kung nga rin, lima yung feature na develop mo for this print, you do that context switching multiple times throughout the sprint. And that loading time, yung parang i-refresh mo na naman yung utak mo, ano nga ba to? Alam ko na to eh, na nagawa ko na to, kaso kala ko ulit aralin eh. Lalo na kung, kung yung, yung, yung code base is medyo spaghetti. And or yung features medyo complex napakahirap sa dev doon so as much as possible dapat si dev parang you know two major features lang per per sprint and a few you know small tasks para lang pang pantanggal umay but if you give him you know three or more five six seven major features na binubuo sa isang sprint, apakahirap para sa kanya niyan. And even naman pa, ano eh, sa, sa, not even sa outside the development cycle, ganun din eh. Pagka may mga task ka na binu ginagawa sa, sa, ano diba, sa everyday life mo, pag paiba-iba yung iniisip mo, ang hirap diba? Ang hirap i-juggle. And it causes stress. Pagka, sabi nga, di ba? Pagka you only have, or if you have more than three uh, priorities, you don't have any priority. Nagkong like inuulit yan. So, yun. Context is very important in a software development cycle. And I think it is one of, if not the most important building block in in the software development cycle. It can make or break 
a a cycle i mean uh, uh, like a sprint or a feature or a project you know the less multi the, the less number of contexts or the less features na binubuo na developer the better para naka-focus talaga si talaga siya and he doesn't have to switch contexts often but for each feature na binubuo niya give him all the context that he needs and you know allow him to or even um invite him or encourage him to challenge your feature depending on the why of that feature and the intended intended outcome so with that i uh, end this episode and uh oh before i end this episode um let me just make an announcement na over the next couple of Saturday, Saturdays I won't have uh, new episodes I won't be publishing kasi Pasko na so next week would be 25 that's sakto diba Pasko and the week after that is January 1 which, which is New Year so I'm taking a break a holiday break and I won't be publishing the next on over the next two Saturdays and I'll be coming back January 1 to 7 it's January 8 January 8 I'll be publishing the next episode so just making that announcement and I'll see you again next year na happy new year and merry christmas sa mga christians yan and have a great holiday season this is me kuya dev and I'll see you January 8th. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.